A tremendous change occurred with the Industrial Revolution. Whereas it had taken all of human history until around 1800 for the world population to reach 1 billion, the second billion was achieved in only 125 years, the third billion in 35 years, the fourth billion in 18 years, and the fifth billion in only eight years in 1986, the sixth billion in nine years in 1995, the seventh billion in eight years in 2003, and the eighth billion in six years, 2009. In 1980, there were roughly half as many people in the world as there are now today. According to reliable sources, as of December 31st, 2018, we were nearly at 9 billion and have an annual growth rate of approximately 100 million people. Although these population numbers are significantly higher than what our statisticians claim, they nevertheless accurately reflect our current overpopulation crisis. Solutions to our energy, food and resource needs will always fall short while increasing demands for such will wreak further havoc on the environment, the flora and fauna, and deteriorate quality of life for the current and future generations. Here is an outline of how we can humanely mitigate our explosive population growth down to sustainable levels. The only solution is through a worldwide, federally imposed stoppage of births for a duration of seven years, followed by a staggered reintroduction of births based on certain criteria. The following is one possibility proposed by Billy Edward Albert Meyer. These measures apply to everyone on the earth except for some small native bush tribes who have practiced their own form of stringent birth control measures since time immemorial. This is to be carried out in this manner until the world's population has reached a diminished and normal level of 529 million people. Subsequently, measures concerning the permission to marry and procreate remain in force, but the seven-year cycle of a birth rate check is omitted. Finally, what future would you choose? A future that is bleak, where there is suffering and strife, where nature is ravaged and exploited, where being a real human being has no meaning, for each one simply lives for themselves without any concern for the next, or for a future where there is peace, love, and harmony amongst all, where nature can flourish, where all human beings can have all of the prerequisites necessary for a happy, healthy, and evolutive life.